there. Mashiach in Moir, Mitzar him, he can do everything. He can be Bezgalus, he can be Behelam. So when you say Al Dehat Sensu, Hiskalas Hamar, Hiskalas Hamar means Ur. The only Hiskalas No, Hiskalas Hamar over here, he means the Moir itself. We have to look it up. I passed needed to look it up. The Sefer Ramay Marim Tafri Samar Beis, Peivov, Peches. Bringing out how through the Tzimtzum, it could be Bepashtus because after through the Tzimtzum, a person yearns to connect to the air, and because he cannot reach the air, he reaches higher yet. It's al derech like you have the Moshe they find him. They find him. We say every morning, by find him b'chayis akedish beraz godel. They find him our beraz godel with a big commotion. So it says why they were a big commotion. There's the serofim, they're intelligent malachim. They're in elam habria. They understand godliness, intellectual malachim. Then you have malachim that are called chayis akedish. Dear malachim that are in elam hayitzira that relate more to emotions. Then there are malachim that are in elam asiya haruchni, spiritual elam asiya. They are called Eifanim. And they find that the lowest group of Malachim. And they find themselves in the darkness. They have no idea what's going on. They hear this commotion, Lamaila, but they have no idea why. So they start screaming. And through their screaming is Baruch Kveid Hashem Mkeime. They take the essence of God higher yet than the revelations that the higher ones take. Because by them it comes to the union of Rash. And that's why Chesidus explains that after through the word Rash, through the commotion of Rash, they come to uh, uh, they come to Shar, which is letters Rash. They come right to the gate. Because the Rash is something that's higher than their Seichel, their intellect. Bemela, they take something that's higher than intellect. On the other hand, the Malachim from Elam Abriya and Elam Ayitzira, these Malachim are taking it either with intellect or with emotions. So they're taking according to uh, reflecting what, what level they have. In other words, uh, what level they're up to and that's reflected in the Maila. So they take the intellect or they take the emotions from the higher world, but they don't take the essence alone. When a person screams, and a person screams that he's completely in a state of confusion and he wants to connect, so it comes from his essence. Therefore, it connects to the essence above. So, Bamela, this could be one has, but I, I don't, I mean, I didn't see this in my mother Mary for many years. The Sama Beis, Peivov, and Peiches. The fact that the Moir is revealed everywhere, when it says that the Moir is revealed everywhere, so it doesn't mean that it accomplishes anywhere, but there is only a general awareness that there is an Ebishter. Any Pu'ula, when it comes to a function, it is Dafka through a Giloy, it is Dafka through a revelation. That's how a function is accomplished. When we say the moir is bizgalos, <coughs> so it doesn't accomplish b'mokim because it is not a revelation. It is the moir itself. So there's no individual function or anything accomplished specifically because it is the essence which is higher than any details. In order that we should be able to reveal, it should be in a function, in a way of a function, revealing the function of the world. <coughs> that in, the, through mentioning the Abish's name, which comes because the Moed of Bizgalos, and we, we relate it to Inyone Yo'elam, to worldly matters, then we reveal the Moed in world. We can connect it to Masipar This is where the Rechagah of the Rebbe brings in the names of the Rabbeim. In Masipar as it's told, in Egea to... You see, look in the order 51, that the Moed is not Giloi. So he says like this, the Inyana Giloi, who sheyesh be eza hasoge? Inyan of a revelation means that there's a certain understanding in it. A gilu means it relates to the outside world. A gilu is for somebody outside. Mashen ken zeh shamoiru bizgalus. When the moir is bizgalus, who shahu bizgalus ke me shahu batzmuse. He is bizgalus as he is in his essence. Shalachena yediyah sheyesh elikam otzi ene beif in the tefisa or b'meilein ze inyan gilu. Knowing that there's an Abish, there's not something we can grasp onto it, and therefore it's not considered a revelation. Revelation is something that is within our reach. It is called revelation because it relates to the outside. 
For a, per, um, for a person himself does not read a revelation for himself. It is a giloi. A giloi means for somebody outside of him. In the same sense like it comes to speaking. A person doesn't talk to himself. He can think. And the thinking is considered a giloi latzme. A giloi latzme, a revelation for himself. So what's the difference between itgalus and giloi? Between what? Itgalus and giloi. Same thing. The only thing is that the moir, this is the, this only the, the, the borrowing of the language that the Rebbe uses the Lashon, that moir is bizgalus, but it's not in a specific function, because the moir is removed from all details and from all functions. So what kind of bizgalus is Okay, so this galus is that children know there is an abish there. Is this the presence? very limited. Yeah, that's what it is. Mitzad, that's why. Mitzad gili, mitzad begoli, we don't see anything. Is this called Kilip Hechenas Reimimus? Is this the... As the union of Reimimus, as he's here, Lamata. Yeah, you could say that the same thing. We know he's here. It's Alderich. The Rebbe was once discussing Benigir to a child. Mentioned earlier. You ask a child about Sviris, the ten attributes. He doesn't know what, what it's about. You say the word Eibishter, who's higher than everything, he can relate to it. And the Rebbe says, why is the child know the word Eibishter? Because by him, the Eibishter is like higher than everything, removed from everything. So therefore, he relates to the Eibishter as Eibishter. Although lower levels, he doesn't even know what it is. Because lower levels are Gilui. There's a Maimon from the Rebbe, I think it's in... Uh, I think it's a Rishi Shana Maimon, Mem Gimel, Tav Shem Mem Gimel, Adei Neilam. So I think it's a Mugidik Maimer. Also speaking about there's Moir and there's, there's a luminary and then there's the revelation. And one of them a child could relate to, the Moir, everybody, children also know, thank the Abish, that was, as the, the Rebbe speaks a long arichas about the Bashem Tev. And then Mashenka, when it comes to, um, to revelation, revelation is details, and revelation needs a vessel. And in order to have a vessel, a person needs to understand it. Therefore, they're not able to understand it. The male children are not shy yet to understand. And therefore we say that when it comes to tefillah, we say that we want to really have a kavana. We say we're doing it uh, relying on the mind of the child. Leda zehatinik. There's an expression, leda zehatinik. Because the tinik purely connects with the Ebishta without any other channels, without any other attributes. Yeah. You mentioned that uh, Hashem could not um, reveal the light to the world because the world wasn't a vessel for it. He didn't, he, he limited the light because the world, it was, the revelation was too great for the world, yeah. So, so I'm saying that he created the world not to have that, that capacity, right? He, uh, so Chassidus explains that although in the beginning it was so, but later the world comes to the level that it's refined, <laughs> that it's able to receive also infinite revelation. Because when a person does a mitzvah in this world, he's connecting to that original Right, world. It's, but it's behelim, it's not revealed. It's, it's, I thought it's revealed in the mitzvah. Right, but the reward is not in this world, and also the revelation, the infinite revelation, oh. is everything will be lost. It, but the only thing is that he uh, he does he does connect with infinite through Torah mitzvahs. So therefore, the Rebbe says like this: Yesh lekasher zeh masipara yaduo it and connected with the known story shall admur azokin from the Alter Rebbe. Shashama merabe morava maget that he heard from the Zricha maget advar geid la istadlo shel abashemtiv. In regards. To the exertion of the Baal Shem Tev, that the Baal Shem Tev toiled himself, exerted himself. She Yisrael an Noshim Noshim v'Taf Yemru Divalei Tehila Lashem Isbarich, that they should say words of praise to the Eibushter. He went from one village to another, from one city to another, towns from the, one town to another, and asking everyone how they're doing, and everyone would say, "Can we Baruch Hashem? Galeit Hashem Isbarich? We call Yitzah Baza." Everyone would thank the Eibushter. Uh, praised. That he gives him health in Parnasa. That the Hilas Yisrael praising the praising of the Jewish nation, praising Hashem, <coughs> is considered the livelihood of the Eibushter Kav Yochum. Shaparius sacred. We are sitting on the praises of the Jewish nation. What is the parnosa of the Ata Kodesh? What does he rely on? These are the praises of the Jewish nation. That the Eibishter, he didn't praise the Eibishter, that he gives them children, health, and parnosa. 